Good Doc back again once again. Let's lock in. Right? First things first. I don't really look at myself as the prettiest man in the world. Right? I have confidence in myself, but titles like that are usually given to your Brad Pitts, your George Clooney's, your Denzel Washington's, your Michael B. Jordan's, right? You know, sexiest man on the planet and stuff like that. These are the titles for them. But how come whenever I deny the advances of the opposite sex, the only reason I am doing that is because I am gay, right? It can't be the fact that I have a partner or I'm in a relationship or married. It can't be the fact that I have analyzed the situation. I have seen things that have really told me this may not be the best thing for me in my life. And I'm opting to disregard it and sidestep. It can't be the simple fact that maybe I'm just not looking to deal with anybody at the moment. The only reason I would ever deny a female in their eyes is if I am gay. Now, Shaming Tactics 101 have taught me that this is nothing more than a ploy, right? If you continuously deny the advances of a young lady, they're going to call you gay in an effort to test your manhood. They're going to call you names in an effort to see if you are going to react like the majority of men would. What do I mean by the majority of men? Any man, most men, when their manhood is tested or their sexuality is in question, what do they do? They find a way to make sure you know for a fact that that is not the lifestyle for them. So it's almost like a Jedi mind trick type thing where in... If a woman calls you out of your sexuality, you have to prove her that she's wrong. And by proving her that she's wrong, chances are you'll end up sleeping with her or showing that that's not who you are. Right? But every man has at least come across one or two young ladies that they probably question whether they should be in a relationship with that person or not. This is what we call thinking with the right head. Right? Every man has at least come across a woman wherein they think to themselves, should I really be doing this? Should I really be interacting with this young lady at this capacity? Should I be in any way, shape, or form willing and or looking to engage in some, you know what it is, with this young lady? Without question, right? And I kind of feel like if you have to ask those questions to yourself, gentlemen, chances are, you probably should, right? If you have to ask the question, you probably should, right? Now, I do believe that there are a couple of things, at least in my opinion. I'm not going to share that because everybody's opinion is going to differ. And you're going to have some people that say, yo, doc, that's really kind of shallow of you. Or that's, you know, purely a cosmetic thing or something like that. And I don't think you should judge people based off of that. But there are certain things that I look for in a young lady before I choose to engage in any type of activity with them, right? Number one in general that I do believe doesn't really come off one way or the other is, I say it all the time and I'll say it again, the ASD syndrome or the a seeking, no, see, no, did I say ASD? Attention seeking disorder, I'm sorry. ASD, attention seeking disorder. If you are a young lady that's out there just looking to get attention, chances are, Maybe you got my attention, but you probably got the attention of other guys too. And as a result, I never want to put myself in a position where I should be in competition for anybody, right? If you're just not looking to rock with me and have a conversation with me and get to know me, guess what? It just ain't meant to be, right? I'm not looking to be one of few or one of many. If I'm not at least one of one, it's not for me, right? Now, again, if the situation was we just having a little fun and we just, you know, just out there and just, you know, just having that liberated free type of relationship. It's a little bit different. But then again, even as a man, I don't know who you sleeping with. Right. So at that point, it scares me not so much about who you are, but who you choose to engage in certain activities with. Because even if we are in a non-committed relationship, guess what? 
you could be screwing a guy that's screwing a whole bunch of girls or dudes or whatever, and he could be bringing something to the table to you, and you know what I mean. The, those 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 uh, the STDs and joint they could be bringing it to you, and you could subsequently be giving it to me. So that's why women that I see out in social media not for me, right? I don't go for the girls who are looking for followers who are looking to get the attention. It's not for me because at the end of the day, granted, it may seem like. Oh, man, I'm dating a girl that everybody wants. For me, it just comes off as, yeah, I might be the guy in the moment, but chances are if she finds somebody better than you, <laughs> you know what it is, right? She going to level up. That's kind of how I see it. Like, I see the relationship playing out that way, and I don't see it playing out any other way because chances are, depending on what your status is and whatever you're doing, hopefully you're not doing everything for her, but, you, but usually if she's choosing you, chances are you got to be putting out, pulling out of pocket to uh, keep her. But if she finds somebody else that could level her up a little bit more, guess what? You'll be put to the side, right? Don't matter how good your sex game is. So when I often deny young lady, these are things that I would deny them for. Like, no, thank you. I'm good. Like, uh, I mean, you, you are attractive young lady. I tell to their face, you attractive. Fine you to be attractive, but, you know, this, 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 this don't look like it's going to work, Right. And what I've learned is, and a lot of guys know this, I kind of learned that by denying them, they want you more. <laughs> y'all know what it is. I know y'all have seen it. By denying them, they want you more, especially if they're used to dealing with guys that always say yes to everything that they want. If they're used to saying, oh my God, whatever you want, babe, you're my queen or whatever the fuck, you know them types, right? If you keep saying that shit, guess what? These are the guys that they are used to dealing with. So if you have somebody like myself who's not really pressed by the way that you look or not really pressed by any other thing about you and I'm not really feeling you like that, but for some god awful reason, you know, God puts you in my presence <laughs> for some for whatever reason you're here for and I say no to you, now all of a sudden you're probably going to stick around a whole lot longer because I said no. You're looking for the conquer. You're looking to say I can get any man and every man on earth that I want to, right? And as a result, they're going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying. They're going to find a way to keep in touch with you, which is kind of a tactic that a lot of guys use, and I think they should continue to use it. If you have that leverage, continue to deny, 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 you know, until you get what out of the relationship that you want. Not saying that you should mind trick or anything, but I'm just saying them. But ultimately, if you deny enough, you already know what's going to happen. I'll say it one more time. I'm going to say it again. If you deny them too many more times, what's going to happen? Oh, he just gay. You know what I'm saying? He don't like women. How dare he not like me? You know what I bring to the table. You know what it is, man. They're going to have that conversation with your ass, and they're going to try to make you feel bad about not being with them. Shame and tactics 101. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do, man. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel in any capacity, you already know what to do. Uh, links in the description area below for all of my ebooks and stuff that you guys want to cop. You should cop them if you haven't copped them already. For sure, for sure. A little heart in the corner if you want to throw a couple dollars on a good doc's book. Say thank you. Cash app, PayPal. You already know what it is. Appreciate you locking in, man. This has been a good doc. Y'all already know what time it is. Time for me to go and get the getting. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed. Doc is out. Peace.